Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Seagram Pierce. We're looking at the business of photography and in particular staff and employee. Maybe a very formal sounding word, but it really applies just to those that you work with on a project. For the majority of us photographers, we get our assistants and staff in when we have projects. If you're really busy and you're shooting continuously throughout the year, you might even have a full-time assistant. Employing someone full-time does come with the standard governmental rules about pay, withholding tax, employee benefits. And it's a little bit more admin, but I can tell you nothing beats a great team. We'll talk from the perspective that staff are those that you bring on in projects, whether it's a lighting guy, a digital assistant, a sound guy, grips, doesn't matter. You are the captain of this glorious ship and they all look to you to guide them on what they need to do. The best thing about great team members is that they're damn good at what they do. They just need to know what, when, or how you need them to do what you need them to do. So each member of your team is gonna get a slightly different part of the story of what applies to them. Your digi doesn't need to know that the 20 by 20 needs to be kept on standby. Your grips guy does. If you have just one main assistant, then you're gonna to talk to them about everything and make sure they're fully up to speed with what you need done. Just a disclaimer, these next few points are 100% my opinion or what it takes to be a good captain for your team. This is how I like to run my business and teams. And you can totally disagree. You need to run things how you see fit. But these are just some tips that I wish someone had given me when I started out. So the whole point of this is being able to share them with you and see if maybe some of them can help. I said earlier that you are captain of your ship and I quite like that analogy because I like how some of those concepts carry across. Any photo shoot or film set has hierarchy of command. Client is always at the top and then several levels down is you as the photographer. Below you is the rest of your team. Important to know where you fit into this whole tiered platform of command. You're going to look to the client for answers on the brief. Your team is going to look to you for answers on how to make it all happen. Your first in command is always going to be your first assistant. They generally the most knowledgeable about lighting, grip setups and just general set management. Management. Your first assistant might even have their second or third that helps them then carry out the smaller task. Your next closest is going to be your digital assistant. They often sit right next to you. They're controlling the tethered shooting or they're just close by that. They can take cards and dump footage and switch batteries. Their domain is your digital aspect, your tethered shooting, watching that frames come in and making sure that they're sharp and exposed properly, backing up data periodically. That's their department. These are two of the most important parts of your team and I'll debrief them the most, making sure that they're in sync with me at all times. It doesn't actually matter who the clients or what the job is. Your responsibility is to look out for your team. This also means that you wanna try and get them the best rate you can for their services. Not all team members get included in my quotation process, but my first assistant always is. He's an extension of me, so his rate gets bundled with mine. Some projects are gonna have a little bit more budget for the team and if you can give them this budget, Budget because it's going to make a huge difference to them. I'm absolutely convinced that incredible assistants have made photographers look really good. A lot of their success rides on the work done by these assistants. Let, let's be real. Assisting work is really hard work. Shoot conditions are not always favorable. Here in Cape Town, we deal with crazy wind and weather that changes every 10 minutes. I remember this one job I did. We had a shoot on the beach and we had set up a few 20 by 20s and the wind started picking up. I had all four of my assistants that day literally holding on to dear life to that fabric they just wanted to blow away and I, I felt so bad that my assistants had to work that hard but you know what they had to do it it's what the job called for after all of that do you not think that they deserve a little bit extra if the budget's there of course they do Try and get the best money for your team. They will remember it. I promise you. As ship captain, you also need to be the one that keeps calm on set. You don't want to be losing your cool in any way. Whether it's with your team or anyone else on set. You don't look good at all to anyone if you're shouting or verbally abusing people on set. Other than looking like you have zero emotional control, it doesn't make for a very nice vibe on set at all. You don't want to be remembered as, oh, that photographer who shouted at me and just oh, made me feel terrible. People remember how you make them feel feel. So put effort into making your team feel valued and heard. In the chaos of trying to get the shot, you're not going to now stop and go talk to your makeup artist and ask her how a cat's doing. No, there's a time and a place for everything. The more time that you can spend with each member of your team and make them feel seen and tell them what they're doing is good, this creates a beautiful positive feedback loop. And it only takes a couple seconds of your time to do, really. And it's really little things like stopping at hair and makeup, mention how good the makeup is looking, your grips that's got the that 20 by 20 ready with a silk theme the correct way. Mention it. If you see your assistants folding cables nicely, tell them they're doing a good job. 
besides affirming good work, you can also use this as a way to train your team on how you like things done as well. Very, very powerful. Staff and team management is a skill that you can work to be better at. Managing people really becomes so much easier when you realize that your ego has to be completely gone. Yes, you're the one at the camera and you're the one applying all your knowledge and the skill to the project, but the only way all of this is coming into reality is because of your team. And if you can make them feel valued, they will stand on that damn 20 by 20 and gale force winds for hours because they are following your lead as good captain. Being able to run a smooth operation and a great team is the stuff that dreams are made of. Sending a client home with amazing images and footage and it was an amazing set experience is something that you should be striving for every single time. Being known for having a good work ethic is worth gold as your reputation. So let's wrap up this segment. Firstly, staff can be full-time or temporary on a project basis. Secondly, communicate well with your team, especially your closest assistants. Thirdly, try get the best deal for your team and put in as much effort in as you did getting the best deal for yourself. They will remember it. That wraps up this episode. Click here and I'll take you to the next episode for the next topic.